Okay, so today is Blackbird by the Beatles, uh, finger picking, um, standard tuning, um, fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm going to show you how McCartney plays it, and there's an alternative way to play it if you just want to pick it. He uh, picks and strums at the same time. Okay, but if you want to do it, you can just ignore that and just make sure that you pick out the third string, you know. Let's have a look at the right hand. So, there's two things that we do here. Uh, we either pick on the beat. So one and two and three and. So that's just the examples. It's different uh, different strings depending on the chord. But what we're, what we're trying to do is we pinch with the thumb and middle, and then this, the index finger flicks the third string. that very slowly and flexive. So that's one of the main rhythms. And then the dominant rhythm is uh, same technique but just slightly different order. So what we do is we go thumb and middle, flick with the index, thumb, uh, middle, then thumb, middle, flick. Okay? half a bar and then we just repeat for the second half so together thumb and middle flick the index thumb middle flick together flick the index middle thumb middle flick okay so that's that's the dominant dominant way that we play the chords throughout i'm sure you very slowly thumb and middle flick with the index to the third string middle by itself, thumb, middle again by itself, index flick, and then the same again, together, index, middle, thumb, middle, flick, okay? Okay, that's just done on the dead string there, just so you can practice it. And I was, as I say, you can just do it with a, with a pick and set up if you don't want to do the flick. All right, so let's have a look at the left hand. So we're leading with a G, A minor 7 and a G, B, right up the top of the neck, okay? So <clears throat> what we want to do is make sure the camera angle's right. And we start with the G, third finger on the third fret of the sixth string. We're going to pinch six and two together. That's the open two there, so flick the index, we A minor 7, now we're not going to play that 4th uh, string, but you might as well put it on for just in case you make mistakes. Uh, if, if you've got the chord shape on and you make a wee mistake, you can get away with it if, more so than if you, the chord shape wasn't on. Okay. Then the A minor 7, so that's 5 and 2, pinch, flick with the index, and then use 1 and 3 on the First finger on the two of the five, third finger on the three of the two. And we'll slide right up the ten and twelve using the same fingers. Now a little tip, as we play here, we don't want to be looking here and then hope for the best. Right? What we want to do is we play here and we let our eye go to the ten and twelve, and then the fingers will stop where you want them to go. Okay, so again that's a slide there with the G B shape. We slide into the high G. Look where we're going, arrive, and then we're into that second rhythm there. So it's pinch, thumb and middle, flick the index, middle by itself, thumb, middle, flick. And again, pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. Okay. Now, we go to the C. Now I suggest using your second finger on the third fret of the fifth string. I'll show you why, because we're going to use the first finger as the lead finger. So, again, you can use thumb and middle. I would use thumb and ring on the first string. So, thumb and ring, flick the index. Now, let your first finger, sorry, second finger come forward to the fourth fret, drop your first finger to the third fret on the first string. Again, thumb and ring, flick. Let the first finger go back to the second fret. Now, the thumb drops to the fourth string, and we play thumb and ring. Flick the third string, 
and then let your first string go to the fifth, add your second finger to the sixth on the fifth string, pinch, flick with the index finger. Okay, so then you'll see if I use my second finger here, sorry. Easier on the fingers from jumbling them around. Okay, then the E minor part. The first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, third finger on the third fret of the first string, and we're in that other rhythm here. So we pinch, thumb in the middle here, flick the, the index finger. Now, what you can do if you don't want to get that B string is just rest your second finger on the B string so that you only get the G coming through. Okay, so. So you begin to thumb middle, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. Then let your first finger come back to the first fret on the fourth string. Keep your third finger where it is. Same rhythm. Pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. And then drop your second finger down. Push your first finger forward to the third fret on the first string. Add your second finger to the fourth fret on the fifth string. Pinch. Flick with the index. Now here, we want to change the first finger on the three of the fifth, third finger on the five of the second. Pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. Now just let your third finger go back to the fourth fret on the second string, same rhythm. Pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. Now that shape, we're going to pull back, so I'm just looking at the temperature here. So we were here, we pull that shape back a fret, and then with the same rhythm, pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. Now A7, again, we're not going to use that fourth uh, string, but we're going to put the chord shape on, just, just in case we make mistakes. And then we go five and two, pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. Drop your first finger at the first fret on the sixth, uh, second string, and pinch, with the fourth and the two, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick, and the G, pinch, six and two, uh, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick. And then we go, I'm just using a very old version of uh, total guitar here. And we go back to the C, flick, so that's a five and one together, flick the third string. G B, so that's the first thing on the two of the five, third finger on the three of the two, and then drop the A minor, A, A dominant seven, another pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick, same on the D seven. Okay, and we go back on ourselves. So we do that, but you know that repeat there. Now we've just done those two bars, we don't do on the second repeat. On the second repeat we're going to the minor section, up the neck to the F. Okay, so we have... So now we're not going to go into the structure by the way. Uh, my student has the structure wrote for himself, so we're just going to do the, the parts and if you know the song, you can put all your bits together. Okay, so start on the F. Again, we uh, fifth and second string, pinch, thumb and middle, flick the index, drag your first finger back a single fret, let your third finger go to the eight, on the same strings here, pinch, flick with the index, pull the shape back to the fifth fret, so that's five and six. Now pull the shape back to the third, but let the third finger stay on the, go to the fifth on the second string, pinch, flick, pull the shape back, change your rhythm, pinch, Flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick, and push that shape forward to the three and the five, same rhythm, pinch, flick, middle, thumb, middle, flick, <coughs> and then uh, up the neck again to the F, the eighth fret and the tenth fret, C, D minor, sorry, D minor, C, pull it back, but this time instead of going up with the C, we go to the dominant seventh, the A dominant seventh. Back. 
and then we're going into uh, yep up the next like that, just like we did before so the C is on the third fret of the fifth string we're going to pinch with the first string flick let it come forward a fret add your first finger to the three on the on the first string draw the first finger back bring it forward to the fifth add the second finger to the six on the fifth string and just like before E minor pull the first finger back Third fret next with the second finger on the fourth fret, and then we are in <coughs> just as before. C, so it's the first finger on the third of the fifth, third finger on the fifth of the two. Draw the third finger back, same rhythm as before. Pull the shape back. A seven. So that when we get by that, it starts slowing down. And then come back in. And then, yeah, and then we just up the neck again. Oh no, sorry, it's different. Uh, so uh, G, flick, A minor 7. One and three or one and four. Pull back the G B. A seven. And the D dominant seven with the rhythm. And then we'll go back to them again. Okay. Uh, so we do another verse. Finish on oh, yeah, you do that bit three times, right? Okay. Yeah, that last chord there, just put the G on. Three, two, one. So, I hope that helps, David. Tab, like I said, the, the tabs are generally right that I've seen on, online. A little trick for you if you want to get a good tab, type in uh, the Beatles, Blackbird, Guitar Tab, PDF. And you'll, get a, you'll get a better score.